thank you for joining me as we try to prove an algorithm theorem, and we're going to show that there are no integer solutions to 14x plus 6y is equal to 1. And so we're going to use this by using a proof by contradiction. As we set up our proof by contradiction, the first thing we should do is rewrite the theorem using symbolic logic. So what we have here is that my variables are x and y. And because we want integer solutions, we're going to say that x and y are integers. So what we have here is a statement 14x plus 6y is equal to 1. And so what we're going to say is that is one statement. And then there are no integer solutions. So what that really means is that there does not exist an integer solution. Or for all x and y and z, we have that this is not true, so not 14x plus 6y is equal to 1. Or if you'd prefer, you can write this as for all x and y and z, we have that 14x plus 6y is not equal to 1. So that's what we're trying to show here is that regardless of what x and y are, we will always have that 14x plus 6y cannot be equal to 1. Since we're using a proof by contradiction, what we want to do is we want to find the negation of this, and we're going to assume the negation of this. And then we're going to show that that leads to some type of contradiction. So what we first have to do is find the negation of this. So the negation of for all x and y and z, we have 14x plus 6y is not equal to 1, would be the statement. Well, if we negate a for all, we get a there exists. So there exists and x and y and z such that not the rest of the statement. So 14x plus 6y is not equal to 1. So we get that negating that there exists an x and y and z such that 14x plus 6y is equal to 1. So if we want to proceed by a proof by contrapositive or contradiction where we're going to show is that we're going to assume that there is an x and y that are integers such that 14x plus 6y is equal to 1, and we're going to get some type of contradiction. All right, since we're proceeding by a proof by contradiction, what we have to say is that if this is true, then we have to get some contradictions. So unlike the last times where I had a table where I have given and need to show, I don't actually know what I need to show. I just know that I need some type of contradiction. So I'm going to start out with what's given. I'm going to write equivalent statements until hopefully I get something that doesn't make sense. So if I start with this, that just means that there are integers x and y such that 14 times x plus 6 times y is equal to 1. Well, I would mean, this would mean that, well, if I look at the left-hand side, I can factor out a 2. So I get 7x plus 3y times 2 is equal to 1. So there exists an x and y and z such that 2 times 7x plus 3y is equal to 1. However, what we notice is that 7x plus 3y is equal to, let's say, k. Then k would be an integer because 7 times an integer is an integer, 3 times an integer is an integer, and an integer plus an integer is again an integer. So we know that this has to be an integer. Well, what does that mean is that what we get is that then 2 times k is equal to 1. And what does that mean? Well, that means either that k equals 1 half is an integer, or we could also say that 1 is even because 2 divides 1. So what we want to say here is that because 2 times an integer is equal to 1, we have, well, either 1 is even or 1 half is an integer. Now, both of those are clearly not true because one is not even and one half is not an integer. So what we have is a contradiction. So we're going to start off with this statement and we're going to get that one of these things happen. And so we're going to get our contradiction there. And then that means that this has to be false. So our original has to be true. Now that we've given the outline of our proof, the last thing to do is write it out formally. So what we're going to say is Assume that by way of contradiction, that there exists an x and y are integers x and y 
such that they are a solution to the equation, so that is 14x plus 6y is equal to 1. Then, 2 times 7x plus 3y is equal to 1. And note, 7x plus 3y is equal to k, we'll say, is an integer. So, we have that 2 divides 1. However, we know that 2 does not divide 1. So, we have a contradiction. Hence, there are no integer solutions to the equation 14x plus 6y is equal to 1. And so we have our theorem. Thank you for joining me today as we work through the proof of this theorem. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you learned something along the way. If you did, make sure to click that like button and to subscribe to the channel. There's more resources available in the description below and also check out our other videos.